my sports in Venezuela Mama likes Cinderella Mama's got it, you buy it Thanks for joining me in another video. My name's Unika, if this is your first time, welcome. Um, I live in Xiamen, which is on the southeastern coast of China, and today I'm gonna show you where I live. So this is my apartment. This is the front door. And I have a couple bags for shopping, hanging on the door with some resistance bands, and then this, little guy here is broken so I just stuffed paper there so it's kind of a funny story why I stuffed paper there when I first got to China I don't know why this happens but like well where I am there's gonna be a BRICS conference so the BRIC countries are gonna be meeting here I believe next month um, so they're really cracking down on illegal visitors and for like the first probably three weeks uh, police were constantly knocking on my door to see my passport and I was just like, really? <laughs> so that little thing didn't work. I stuffed paper in it and I just stopped answering my door and yeah. <laughs> I guess they know that I'm allowed to be here and I'm not doing anything illegal. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, they stopped knocking. Um, but they would come to the school and my school that I used to work at and like check my passport. I don't know, it was strange because I don't have a Z visa. My school wasn't able to get me a Z visa, um, which is the work visa you need here in China. But maybe they were saying they were in the process of doing it and it was okay, but um, yeah. <laughs> so that's my front door. And my front door opens to my living room. The apartment came fully furnished. I didn't have to buy anything. I have a table and a couch and a TV, which I do not watch. It's actually unplugged. Um, basically, you know, in China, everything's state run. Um, so it was just, it wasn't for me. <laughs> this couch is one of those click, click couches. And it's so funny because it's really hilarious. It's like that couch is a click, click couch. You know, the kind that you can fold to make into a bed or fold back up to make into a couch. But I really wanted one when I was living in Baltimore. That, that was my last residence before coming to China. And um, I was always trying to talk my roommate into like, let's get a quick, quick couch instead of a futon. And he's like, no, they look cheap. They are so cheap. Like if you sit in one spot for like a day, you can see the indentation and you can feel the springs. But you know, it's okay. It's works for now. <laughs> and then here is my balcony. And I have a washing machine, a couple chairs, and a sink. This is the view from my balcony. It's a bit later in the evening. So I have a sink here, which I don't really use that often, as you can see, it's pretty dusty. <laughs> um, I keep some cleaning supplies out here, I have chairs, it's nice to sit out here with friends in the evening. And then you just open the door and we are back in my living room. The pillows I did not buy, and I think it's really funny because the afghan that's on the couch was made by a friend uh, in Baltimore, and it matches perfectly with the cat pillow, so that's pretty cute. Oh, and here at the front door, you know, you take off your shoes um, and just wear house slippers. So next here is my kitchen, and I have these beautiful glass doors, which I never close. It's 
got some flower designs on it. On the door. And here's my kitchen. I have a table, chair, two gas burners, sink, and a very small fridge. I'm taller than the fridge. <laughs> and you have to turn the gas on and off. And behind the fridge, there's like a little, see this pipe going down. Um, it connects to that little lever and you just flip it up for the stove to work and you lay it flat to turn it off. My first couple of weeks here I would always forget to turn the gas off <laughs> and I would get home and like I would have all the doors and like windows open but I could still smell gas I'm like what is that and then I would go check and I'm like oh my god oh my god I'm gonna I'm gonna blow up the building so <laughs> now I definitely remember to turn the stove off when I'm leaving there's so many smokers in China I would hate to like <laughs> <laughs> and be blamed for that. So yeah, I definitely make sure to turn the stove off. I just have some pots and pans and dishes and glasses. Cookware. Under here I have uh, all the plastic bags from shopping excursions that I can use for trash bags. Cleanser, sponges, nice little area under the stove. And then here I have like different dry goods, oatmeal, peanuts, mung beans that I have yet to sprout. I used to sprout these all the time um, back in Baltimore, but I don't have a sprouting jar, but I know I can still do it in a glass. I love fresh bean sprouts. And I have some different sauces and things there. And utensils and stuff here, my rice cooker. There's a funny story about this rice cooker. This one here. <laughs> I purchased this rice cooker with my friend Catherine and Leo Penchway. And before we bought it, she was like, make sure that it works. And I was like, uh, okay, it's fully packaged. I, it doesn't look like it's been open. But she was like, go ask the woman if it works. And I was like, all right. So I went up to the woman at the store and I asked her, does it work? And of course she was like, you know, uh, how, how, it's good. And I was like, okay, great, I'll buy it. And then my friend Catherine was like, no, ask her to open up the box, undo the packaging, plug it in to make sure it works. So we went up and she actually asked the woman to do that. And when she plugged it in, it did not work. So she had to change the cord from the rice cooker because it was the cord that I guess didn't work. And she eventually found me a cord that did work. Um, and I bought the rice cooker, but that just shows me to always make sure with anything that I buy, if it's electronics, to make sure that it works. My Vitamix, I bought that from home. Um, such a great thing to bring with me. I love my Vitamix. It blends smoothies, it makes soups, it chops. I can just put like water in here and I can put like onions, tomatoes, cucumbers, turn it on. In a few seconds it's chopped everything in small little pieces and I have salsa. I just drain the water, I've got salsa. It's, I love the Vitamix. Such a good investment. My little teeny fridge, I've got ice, some frozen bananas, frozen blueberries, coffee. And this is the little refrigerator part. Just basic stuff. Got a watermelon. I love watermelon. Um, avocados, eggs, cucumbers, tomatoes. Got some juicy drinks here, lemons. It's so crazy that the freezer gets so cold it makes this layer of like frost in there. Then here's my living room again and over here is my bathroom. That's a hot water heater there and it's so nice during the summertime. I don't really like to be concerned about the hot water because it's so hot you just want to take like pretty cold shower, feels great. But during the winter time, that's only a 40 liter hot water tank, I believe. And 
I have to like intermittently turn off the shower while I'm washing my hair because I won't have enough hot water if I keep the water running. But you get used to it. You make it work. I really love my sink. I love this bowl type sink. It's really cool. I have a western style toilet which is nice. I'm happy to have the western style toilet back again in my life. <laughs> it's got this push button thing on the top instead of the little uh, flippy handle usually that I'm accustomed to. But uh, yeah, and I have a shower, it's very spacious, lots of room, it's got a little ledge, and I really love that there's a window here. It's nice to have the steam go out of the window when I'm taking my shower. This is my bedroom. And I have my bed, nightstand, desk, some artwork on the wall that was here when I moved in. This is the view from my window, which is pretty much the same view from my balcony. I have a wardrobe, which is really nice. There's nothing at the top, um, but I keep my clothes and other miscellaneous items in the wardrobe. The bed is like a brick. It's really, really tough. It doesn't like bounce at all. <laughs> it's very stiff and I really like it actually. It feels very nice. I have an AC unit. Of course it gets really, really hot here. I have one here and then there's another one in the living room. I really like that there's these decals on the wall. Um, um, I have another one that's really cool, uh, another, it's like a pop-out storybook decal. It's got these flowers and this bird that are away from the wall, and then like, um, there's flowers actually on the wall, which is pretty cool, I really like this. So this is the area right outside my door. This is the common area and it's so nice and clean. The residents here really take good care of it. And this is where I put my trash. And this is my door. My um, landlords put this banner around uh, the door for the new year. Everyone's got banners actually around the door for the new year. always a little, it's funny because I pushed one, right, and the elevator's not going. I pushed one and one turned off. It happens all the time. Sometimes I'll just be standing here and I'll like, oh my god, I'm not moving. <laughs> and now we're moving. But there's a little screen for advertisement here. There's different advertisements in the wall. There's an ashtray here, but it's funny, I never smell smoke in the building. I guess because everyone's got um, balconies and areas that they can go outside. Maybe a lot of people just smoke outside. But I really love that there's this full length mirror, because I don't have a full length mirror, so it's really nice to be able to check your outfit before you leave out for the day. Hi! This is the area, it's nice open space. It's got really, really high ceilings here when you come in, which is really nice. And then you have to press this button here. And you'll hear that beep, beep, beep. And then you go outside. And there's trash cans here. A little play center over here. It's really pretty. And there's a little lantern that hangs over the door here. And then there's all these little pathways with like a bunch of really cool plants that just really make everything pop. And there's a little play area over here. Over the wall, there's a gas station.
And this is a cool little area. Sometimes in the evening there's yoga going on here. I want to join. I need to see what I can do to join. It's so nice out though. Even though it's very hot, it's like maybe 92 right now. Like the wind's blowing, it's really pretty. Oh, this is really cool too. I'm so used to seeing it every day. Let me back up. It's a little area here. And there's like a little pond here and there's actual fish in there. And then there's like a, this is one of the gates you can come through. There's security check right there at the gate. Well, I'm on my like Cinderella, mama's got a true life. I say hola, hola. Hola, Bosan. And then here's like another little pathway back to the main walkway. shallow. It's a nice pool though. I mean it makes you nice and cold which is <laughs> I feel the purpose <laughs> of the pool when it's really hot but the hours are really funny. It's like from 4 to what I was told was 9 but the other day I went to the pool and it was like 4 to 8 30. Mama's was in Venezuela, Mama likes Cinderella, Mama's got a true fire. I say hola, 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 bossa nova. I say yeah, 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 yeah. And then this is the front. The front gate. There's two gates. There's the one side gate, and there's this front gate. They both have a guard. This is where you get your mail. This is the main walkway. It's so hot out here. <laughs> I feel like I've been out here for like five minutes and I'm already breaking a sweat. It's just so muggy. But I hope you like my apartment. Um, let me know what you think about this video. If you like it, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And um, yeah, let me know um, what you want to see here in China. But thanks for watching. Bye.